Hello, I am in Christ. I have become a new man. My past is gone. My new life in Christ has begun. And the new me is being unveiled through the knowledge of my Creator. This is the new man commission with the mandate of revealing Jesus to the world, demonstrating his love to the people. Welcome. I'm going to teach you today a message on keys to living the right life. Because you can live your life and live it wrong, or you can live it right. And one of the keys is found in Psalms 34. To a happy life, one of the keys to a happy life is found right here. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble will hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Listen to this. It's powerful. Verse 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fear. When you begin to magnify God, when you begin to praise God, he said, that was the key to my deliverance. He delivered me. I love what he said he delivered me from, from all my fear. And so many people are bound by fear. And everybody just look at me just a moment. I'm preaching today to you. Not just somebody out here. I'm preaching to you. How to live the right life. It starts with number one. If you're taking notes, just take some notes. You've got to have the right atmosphere. What do you mean the right atmosphere? In your life, you create the atmosphere. And the right atmosphere, in a word, is praise. Have you ever noticed that emotions create atmospheres? If somebody's sad, you walk into the room and you feel that sadness. If somebody is fearful, if somebody, for example, is angry, if they're upset about something, without a word being said, they project from their spirit into the atmosphere of a room a, a negative feeling just from the anger that they possess. If somebody is, is, is afraid, that creates an atmosphere. And the way that you get God's favor on your life and you draw God's blessings into your life is God is the God who responds to atmosphere. And what atmosphere is it that He responds to? One of thanksgiving. One of gratitude. One of praise. The right atmosphere is praise. There's an amazing story in the Old Testament. King Saul would be diagnosed as a manic depressive. He had fits and times when darkness and depression would come on him and he would go out of his mind. And the Bible said when the evil spirits of depression troubled him and he went into the dark place of his life that he did something strange. He called for David and he said tell that boy to bring his heart and begin to play and fill this palace with praise. And as David would play his music while that king was sitting on his throne in depression in darkness, in, 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 the, in the sorrow of life and hopelessness, as David would play, your Bible said the evil spirits departed from Saul and he would come back to a place of, of, of peace again in his life. And all David did was fill the room with praise and it changed the atmosphere of the palace. That story is in your Bible. It says that we can change the atmosphere. Even when things aren't changing yet, that you're praying about and hoping for and, and believing for. But you can control the atmosphere of your life through praise. When you understand that, you have to ask the question, what is the atmosphere of your life? What kind of people do you have around you? That's what creates the atmosphere of your life. Are they negative or are they positive? Are they faith-filled or are they fear-filled? Because the people around you create the atmosphere of your life. 
Not only that, what kind of music do you listen to? What kind of things do you fill your mind with? It creates the atmosphere. And God is either drawn to the atmosphere or He withdraws from certain atmospheres. And He's looking for an atmosphere of gratitude, of praise, of thankfulness. God bless you. Stay blessed. For more of our resources, follow us on our social media handles.